Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Up Back for part round one, part three of the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. Four more matches to go through here, including some heavyweights like Brontokins involved. So without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, which is an all-water match. Right then, in the red corner, a dinosaur we don't see too much of actually, and we didn't see it, we hardly saw it in the water washout tournament because it lost straight away, the Satiosaurus. Can Satiosaurus make a bigger impact in this tournament? Well, he's up against another water dinosaur because in the blue corner, we have Patagosaurus. Patagosaurus did feature in my main tournament. Patagosaurus, ah. Can it do well in this tournament? It's going to be an intriguing matchup. Two relatively unknowns. Well, Satiosaurus is more unknown than this dude. Be good. It'll be interesting to see. And we have had some upsets already. Well, mainly in the last part with Sejuangosaurus one, but let's be honest, that's not really an upset these days. It's Patagosaurus getting the first hit on the ball. Boosh. Ooh, but Satiosaurus responds with a move block to come as well. I, I, I'm not really a fan of move block, to be honest. I mean, it's just... If, it's just if. You know what I mean? Well, that's all of the moves gone for Patagosaurus. And it's Satiosaurus taking full advantage with yet another hit on the board. Attack burst to come as well. Futaba Cannon has already been triggered. And one Futaba Cannon will give the Satiosaurus a 1-0 lead. Tarver Cannon didn't come there. Although I will say a crit from the Patagosaurus will give it a 1 0. But is Satiosaurus landing the hits at the minute? Is that an oh, oh, it almost killed it. The attack burst there, maxing up. Not that it makes a difference at this point. Because a tie will be enough to kill Patagosaurus. Ooh, Patagosaurus will get the next hit. Boosh! Getting some slippy slappage off. A very tight first round so far. Both of our combats, one hit away from winning and one hit away from losing. Although, I will say the, the odds are in Satiosaurus's favour because a tie will be enough to, to win it for him. Well, he doesn't need a tie. He gets the hit. The Troodons are coming in because why the hell not? And that will be the, a 1-0 lead for Satiosaurus. Oh, but oh no no, it's not over yet, because we still have... Because this is the best of three, so let's get on with round two. Right the O then, round two between these two long neck boys. Will Satiosaurus win 2 now, or can Patagosaurus come back into it? And yes, we're going to use Rob, because the poor sap doesn't have any dinosaurs that I can pair him up with in this tournament, since there's no lightning dinosaurs. Ooh, it's Patagosaurus opening up with a first hit. Boosh. I forgot what that was. I mean, you guys are no top of the translation. I think it's Aqua Vortex. But like, honestly, I just entered the code for this move and I forgot what it is. Oh, hang on. My... Nope, it's Aqua Javelin. I thought it was. Ah, yes, of course I knew it was Aqua Javelin. Yeah, what are you on about, Stranger? What are you on about? Of course you knew it was Aqu Aqua Javelin. It's not, it's, not like I, it's not like I choose these moves, is it? Well, choose them or not, it's Patagosaurus storming ahead. Look at this. Patagosaurus showing no mercy. Oh, that's a tie. And Patagosaurus has leveled things up. A very good win there for Patagosaurus. And you know what that means? It's going to come down to this next round. Well, it is a deciding round between these two. It's been a very good match, this is. Although, although Patagosaurus was quite dominant in round two. A lot closer in round one with Satiosaurus pulling away. We will have enough left in the tank to finish the job. Oh, where's Satiosaurus getting the first hit this time? Attack burst activating again, that could definitely come in handy. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, here's the Troad. The Troodons are back at it again. It's a move block. Satiosaurus starting strong. And I would say would be a crit away from winning. Well, we, the Patagosaurus dominated round two, and it looks like the Satiosaurus is dominating round three. And I think a tie will do it for our Whale Lizard. I don't know why I said that, but... Oh, hang on. Will it be enough? Yep, yeah, it's enough. Patagosaurus biting the big one. And it's Satiosaurus that gets the job done and books his place in the last 16 round. Right, yo then, let's move on to our next matchup to find out who Satiosaurus's opponent will be. Okay then, in the red corner, we have the Joboria. This Joboria is horrific type. So, any dinosaurs with a paper crit will be a good match for it. Unfortunately, its opponent has a scissors crit. And speaking of opponents, there is a po there is his opponent in the blue corner. Is he strep the spondylus again? A dinosaur I've seen quite a few times in my tournament. People seem to like using it. Will it do well in this tournament though? That remains to be seen. Very balanced for a win for a win dinosaur anyway. Very balanced attacks. Zittery, zittery, zit. Not to be underestimated. Although, I will say, a little bit oversized in this game. Ooh, good start, good start, and Anyang Gira died. The first hit there from you strip the Spondylus. The Mayfly will get triggered as well. Oh, that's a tie. Ties don't really suit anyone. No Sonic Blast or no Ocean Panic. So ties, as I said, Probably suit you strength the Spondylus at the minute because it's in the lead. And he's gonna be extending that lead. It's a dive impress. Kick the sand in the face of the Joe Borea and pound him into the sand. Whoosh! Well, this is a very strong performance from you strength the Spondylus so far. Starting really quick. Ooh, but the Joe Borea gets his first hit of the match. And it's Stun Dash. Will you strip the Spondylus be stunned after that? We'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, oh wow, I did loads of damage. Now, there's the heroic type. The heroic effect there. The Stun Dash is quite deadly. Oh, not deadly enough though. The Joe Warrior falls. And it's a 1-0 lead for you strip the Spondylus. Right, on the round two. Right, Theo, then, round two. Can the Joe Boria level things up? Or will the Ustrep the Spondylus pull off a 2 0 win? Dun, dun. Well, it was a close match. That stun dash did make it a little bit interesting, but it was a too little too late. Joe Boria will have to start better this time. And well, that is a better start. That, my friends, is a crit. Whoosh. And that is an arse ton of damage. But the strep the Spondylus responds with a crit of his own. Oh, wait, is that it? I think that's going to be it. There's a triple headbutt coming in, and that should be game over for you strip the Spondylus. Well, in this round anyway. Because we'll be level packing. Yep, as you strip the Spondylus down, Joe Borea evening the score. So, I'm sure you all know what that means. Say it with me. It all comes down to the next round. Ooh, we're on a sunset beach. Makes for a good sunset showdown, I say. Between these two. Ooh, I wonder who's gonna I wonder who'll have enough left in the tank to win. I feel like the Joe Bori is gonna snatch it. I feel like Joe Bori is gonna nick this. Well, he's got the first head. It's a triple head, but finish you strip the spondless off in round two. And it's looking to do some damage this time. <laughs> 
busting up its kneecap, shattering the shins. Oh, oh, here comes another triple headbutt. It's another triple onslaught coming for you, Strip the Spongeless. And, well, let's be honest, there would probably be nothing left of its legs at this point. All its shin bone, its kneecaps will be shattered. And has that shattered any chances you strep the Spondylus had of winning? Ooh, maybe not. You strep the Spondylus getting hit. I do believe it's Crisis type as well, so it will deal more damage. Do not count you strep the Spondylus out yet. Ooh, I tell you what, and this is a Mayfly. Has you strep the Spondylus just snatched this match? With the Crisis type buff, with the Mayfly, and the dive to come, I think it has. Oh, he's killed it! Down goes Joe Boria. You strip the Spondylus, pulling off the smash and grab to win the match. And advance to the court, to the last 16 round, where he will face another water dinosaur in Satiosaurus. Ooh, that was a good comeback there. Great comeback from you strip the Spondylus. Poor Joe Boria, though, didn't really happen for it. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get on with our next matchup of this session. Well, in the red corner, the only grass dinosaur in this tournament is Captosaurus. And I hope his stay will not be short, but based on his opponent, his stay might be short. No, God, we can have faith in this little guy. He can do it, he can do it. It's going to be tough, because in the blue corner, we have the Torvosaurus, one of the apexes of the Jurassic period, this dinosaur. A powerhouse to boot, and a true savage. And I think, and I do believe, I put it, gave it heroic type, so... This is actually a decent match. A fire cannon is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, wow, it's so tiny. <laughs> Poor little thing. Ooh, I guess the first hit, though. I think this Campasaurus is revival type. Oh, no, Torvosaurus gets a strike back. It's got the attack boost as well. As I said, this could be a very short match. Campasaurus, though, continuing to chip away at the tour. Oh, that's a tie. That will suit the Campasaurus, though. The two platoon crush will get triggered. And now we would want a rock. But the only one getting off a rock is a Torvosaurus, and it's fire cannon time. Boosh! And, as I said, this is going to do a lot of damage because of heroic. Oh, we killed her. <laughs> oh, that was quick, wasn't it? Boot the cinders. The Torvosaurus takes a 1-0 lead. Well, will round two be just as quick? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, oh poor thing. Is in the magma field. Is that a sign that this Torvosaurus is going to demolish it? Or maybe, just maybe, nature will find a way. It's, it's going to lose, isn't it? Ooh, guess the first hit. Although I will say, Camptosaurus did get off hits, but Torvosaurus got off bigger hits. And I th actually, yeah, I think both of them got the same number of hits off, but Torvosaurus's hits were better, was stronger. And that's why it won round one. So far, the Camptosaurus is off to a good start again. Oh! Has it just equalised? The two platoon crush coming in. Will this crush the Torvosaurus into submission? Boosh! Squish! Yeah, it does. Well, Camptosaurus got some revenge, did it? And we are level packing. So it all comes down to round three. Oh, we're back in the grass field. 
ding, ding. Can this Camptosaurus pull off a win? Or will the Torbosaurus rediscover its savage form? Oh, well, that's a good start for the Torv. Attack boost to come as well. And I think that will put it, the Camptosaurus, already in range of being killed by the fire cannon and probably firebomb as well. Ooh, but Camposaurus gets a hit here. Hasn't got off a crit yet. Seeing that, he hasn't actually got off a fawn whip until now. Boosh. Oh, the tight. Okay, well that will definitely put Camposaurus in killing range. But the Torvosaurus just cannot get a hit. Ooh, a Fawn Whip would have ended the match there. And can Camptosaurus do it? Oh, he's done it! The little grass dinosaur, the only grass dinosaur in this tournament, takes out Torvosaurus. I mean, they got stomped in the first round, but it showed so much resilience to come back and knock out the Savage Beast. Wow. A very good win there for Camptosaurus and a moral victory for Prey. Right then, on to our final match of this session, which sees the tournament hotshot, Brontekin. Right then, in the red corner, we have the Gigant Spinosaurus. One of the dinosaurs that you see quite a few times in people's teams. And it featured in, it featured in Diddy Darius's team as well. The winner of my recent tournament. However, it's gonna be tough because in the blue corner we got Big Bad Brontekins. The tournament favourite, the big shot. Almost won the water washout tournament. Looking to make up for it here. Although I will say. It is quite unlikely that we'll see its armour because usually these 1v1 matches will end too quickly. And that's something I will consider in the future. For future mini tournaments. Oh, oh, well, um, that's not a good start, is it? <laughs> not if you gigant Spinosaurus, but Crystal Crusher there could come in handy. We'll put the odds in Gigant Spinosaurus's favour there. Uh, well, not like that. Oh, it's, it's going to get stomped, isn't it? I think this match might be a stomp fest. He's got the attack as well, and he's got Ocean Panic, so Ty's favour, Brontekins. Oh, he gets a hit, though. Gigant Spinosaurus finally getting a hit. But he'll have a lot of work to do if he wants to win this match. Another time. Ooh, I tell you what, it's got off a crit. It's got the rush to come. Slippy, slippy, slap, slap. Gigant Spinosaurus coming back into this. Although I will say, again, the odds are still in Brontekins' favour because a tie will be enough for him. But look at this comeback. And uh, nope, there it is. <laughs> and a recovery to add insult to injury. Gigant Spinosaurus biting the dust. And it's an unsurprising 1-0 lead for Brontekins. And wow, look how much health he gained. He's a, healer, he's a tank, Brontekins. Right, let's move on to round two. Right, round two. And will it be a stomp for Brontekins, or will Gigant Spinosaurus even things up? Yes, yes, come on, get your intros out of the way so I can get on this match. The people came to see the match, not to see you banter. Oh, no, oh, no, it's got a crit straight away. Oh, history does repeat itself. Crystal Crush again triggered once again. Is an exact replica of round one. Will it have the, the same outcome? Well, no. The Gigant Spinosaurus does get the hit. Doesn't need the Crystal Crusher there. 
Ooh, and he takes the lead for the first time in this match. Well, in, the entire, in this entire match, I should say. A tail smash on the Bromptikins there. I mean, Bromptikins is strong, but he's not invincible. I will say that. Ooh, Bromptikins, okay, and another hit on the board. Another Crystal Crusher has been triggered. Ooh, this could be interesting. If Crystal Crusher gets triggered, that, that does put the Gigant Spinosaurus in the driving seat. Ooh, it does! Wait, this might actually... With the rush, this might be lethal. The Crystal Crusher coming in here. Will this be lethal? Oh, it's gonna be! It's gonna be lethal, and Gigant Spinosaurus is gonna even the score. Boosh! A well-timed Crystal Crusher there crushes Bronthikins. Well, Gigant Spinosaurus putting up a fight. Can he continue that, though, in this deciding round? Right, round three, and we're on the beach. Can Gigant Spinosaurus pull off this upset? Or will Bronthikins see this home? Ugh. Come on. Enough bant already. Oh, oh, Bronthikins is not starting with a crit this time. Oh, 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 here comes Ocean Panic. First Ocean Panic of this match. We got quite a few ties as well, so I'm surprised that it's the first Ocean Panic we're going to see. Will it be the last? Oosh. Oh, he doesn't get a shockwave effect, though. Interesting. Does that give Gigant Spinosaurus an opening? Perhaps. Another tie. And, yeah, there it is. Bronthikins. I think that's going to be lethal. Oh, it's not. It's not. Gigant Spinosaurus is still in it, but let's be honest, it's probably out. It's probably dead. And, yeah, there it is. There's the crit. Bronthikins didn't like getting beat in round two and stomped all over the Gigant Spinosaurus to book his place in the last 16 round. Right, let's have a look at our matchups in the last 16 and we can end the session. I feel like this has been quite a long session. Def definitely has to be the longest one so far in this tournament because all the matches went to a decided round. We had the Satiosaurus beating the Patagosaurus, the Streptospondylus snatching a win from Joboria. The little Camptosaurus knocking out Torvosaurus. This is probably my favourite one so far. The little, little grass dinosaur fighting back. And, well, no surprise here that Brontekins stomped all over Gigant Spinosaurus. And, yeah, this, well, this is probably the match I'm looking for. Oops. This is probably the match I'm looking forward to the most is this one. I can't, it'll be in really intriguing to see how this little Camptosaurus can fare against Brontekins. Although I feel like it's going to be a stomp for Bronte. As a thought... I know it's a long way yet, but a Pacosaurus, Bronthikins, they could meet in a semi-final round. That's enough about that. Let's end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. You know, you know the drill. And stay tuned where we will conclude round one with these four matches. And until then, this is Dream Gamer signing out.